For work at the farm, I use the Spyderco Shaman. It has an S30V blade, G10 scales, and a compression lock. It also has this big hole for easy one-hand opening and closing. And I do that a lot. Come to think of it, it's more like 99% opening and closing than actually cutting stuff. Not that I don't cut stuff with it, I do that quite a bit. It's just that I open and close it way more. Hi, I'm E, and I'm a farmer up here in Norway. If this is your first time here, welcome, it's great to have you. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for being awesome. In addition to the Shaman, I also have this uh, Para 3 for my weekend carry. It's a smaller and lighter knife, but has the same hole and the same fidget factor. The thumb fits in here perfectly, and it opens every single time. But a while ago, I was sitting in front of my computer, watching videos about knives, because that's a thing I do now when something caught my eye. He used his middle finger to open the blade. His middle finger, not the thumb as I've been doing for the last year. <laughs> I can't seem to do it. Maybe my fingers are too sausagey, or I just lack the needed hand-to-eye coordination and fine motor skills to pull it off. Finger stuff never have been one of my strongest sides. I always wanted to learn to play an instrument to impress the girls at after parties or around the campfire, but it never led to anything. And my art teacher told me to maybe go and paint some walls instead. Is there a secret finger flipping community I don't know about? And how come I'm not invited? Maybe Spyrco just forgot to put the pamphlet in the box. It's like I can't play with the cool kids. I'm not even on the bench. It's like a brotherhood I'm not a part of. I need to do something about this. This is a skill I need to master. I need this. I need this really bad. Mr. Martin, I'm Farmer E. I just watched a video of yours on your Best Damn EDC channel and you opened up a Spyderco PM2 with your middle finger, is that correct? Yes. 
Why? Why did I do that? It's, uh, it's a little bit easier. Okay, so it's not just to look cooler? It does look a little cooler, I think. Do you think I would look cooler as well and that my viewership would go up? Absolutely. Okay, so picture this. You're at my farm and the water buffaloes are out on the pasture smelling the flowers and one of them sits down and doesn't see a bee on one of the flowers. The bee stinks and the water buffalo just sets off, screaming in agony and rage, running as fast as it can straight towards us. Now I get out, but you can't because my four-year-old has tied your shoelaces together without you noticing and you fall to the ground. You have to use the PM2 to cut the laces off and get in safety and you have one chance before the water buffalo runs you over. Which finger do you use to open the knife? Middle finger. The middle finger. Get your hand in the right position when you pull the knife out. If you could have only one knife for the rest of your life, what would it be? If I could only have one, probably a Sabenza. And for fidgeting? For fidgeting, right here. It's a Protec Malibu. And it's a button lock. Yeah, just all day. Hey, there's this thing called the five finger challenge. It's opening the knife with all five fingers. So the, the five finger challenge is to do that in one Instagram story. So you have like 10 seconds to do all of them. Challenge accepted. I want to see this when it's done. Look at this. All right. I can think I'm going to do it. I might be slow. That was five right there. It's amazing. I'll start training immediately. All right, so if you were a farmer, what kind of knife would you carry? It would be the Shaman or a Sabenza. A Sabenza? Yeah, it's a really, really stout knife. They both are. But a $500 knife to, to use on the farm? I mean, it's got a lifetime warranty. I mean, you can beat the absolute tar out of this thing, send it in, and you'll have the same knife back. You can get these used in the $250 mark. I paid $200 for this. Oh, wow. All right, Taylor, uh, to wrap this up, do you think I'll manage to uh, do the Spidey Flick? It might take you a while, but you, I think you can do it. All right, thank you for doing this. Thanks for taking the time, and uh, I'll DM you when I do the flip open with all the fingers. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So that was Taylor Martin from Best Damn EDC here on YouTube. Um, if you don't know his channel, go over and uh, check out his stuff. Give him some love and uh, say I said hi.